Hello, my name is Dr Andrew Mays from the School of Chemistry at the University of East Anglia and today I'm going to talk to you about tea bags. Tea bags are papery bags full of tea and sometimes they take the form of these folded and stitched or stapled bags. But the vast majority of the tea bags we use every day are these so-called pillow bags. They're papery bags filled with tea and they're sealed around the edges to hold the tea in place. They can be square, they can be round, or sometimes they're even pyramid shaped. Although these pillow type tea bags look like they're just made out of paper, they actually contain a hidden secret. And that's what I'm going to try and show you in the following experiment. We're going to use samples from Dorset Teas for this because they kindly sent me samples from their old style bags and their new biodegradable bags so we can directly compare how they behave. The first thing we need to do is to take the tea out of the tea bag so it doesn't get in the way. So I'm just going to make a little slit in the tea bag to open it up and then we can empty out all the tea. There we go, and we're left with an empty tea bag. And this we now need to place into a beaker of a special copper ammonia solution. So I'm just going to push this in, immerse it in the solution, and then cover it up again because it's a bit smelly. Okay. This then needs to be set aside for several days um, and what's going to happen here is that this copper ammonia solution very gently dissolves away all the cellulose fibres from the paper and it allows us to see what's left behind. Okay, Because this takes a little bit of time, I've got some here that I prepared earlier. And if I look first at the sample of the old Dorset Teas tea bag, if I fish around in here, I can pull out a skeleton and I'll rinse this off in some acid solution to get rid of all that copper ammonia solution. And what we're left with is a complete piece of material that looks like you know, a tea bag and this is actually the complete polypropylene skeleton of a plastic layer which is inserted into the tea bag as part of the manufacturing process. Here we go. And if I hold up one here that I made earlier and have dried out you can see it's like a piece of tissue, it's a complete polypropylene section, just like the original tea bag. If we now look at the new Dorset Teas tea bag, I can fish around in here, but actually there doesn't appear to be anything. And if I take a, take a sieve, pour this liquid out through the sieve and actually we're left with almost nothing at all from the original tea bag. And the reason for that is because this, this newer type biodegradable Dorset tea bag is made with a different kind of plastic called polylactic acid. And polylactic acid is a much more easily degraded plastic and it can actually be broken down in the environment by the microorganisms in the soil so that it only lasts for a few weeks or possibly at most a few years in the environment. By contrast, this polypropylene skeleton from the old style tea bags, this is an oil-based plastic and this is not biodegradable at all so it can survive in the environment for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years, we really don't know. So the take home message is, 
if you want to be a little bit friendlier to the environment, you should really try to buy a brand of tea bag that uses polylactic acid to seal it together rather than polypropylene. And that way, when it's disposed into the environment, it will, over a reasonably short period of time, decompose and break down.